Three years. Just kidding. Hello. I'm sorry I'm late. I was eating delicious ramen. Is that a subscription? I was slurping yes, some ramen. Just kidding. Two whole months. That's almost like 60 days. That is so true. You make a good point. Hello, Broadway. Thank you so much for coming back for a second month willingly. I was slurping some ramen. It was good. Uh, I got lime chili flavor, which I was kind of iffy about, but it was really tasty. Also, big news for the channel. Um, the chair is back. So if you were... Mm, stream deck. Chair is back! Let's go! Nothing is more pushy with updates than Elgato products. Also, I, I moved my monitors around. 
and I've lost Spotify entirely. Chair, chair, so chair, Spotify, chair, chair, Spotify chair. Spotify does not exist anymore. Oh, there it is. Found it. Um, hold on. Let me put Spotify back up there. Okay. Hello? Okay, there we go. Um, captions off. <laughs> Nobody could have expected that. Okay, let's try this again. Um, how's the music volume? Wow, I am really throwing. I'm throwing today. Okay, there we go. Now everything's set up. Where's Oki? Um, up there. Here. There she is. Um, anyways, how are you? Are the captions on? Oh, yeah, they were. How are you guys? How are things? Third stream. I've decided to do something in order to make uh, content out of nothing. I got a grocery delivery today, and I was wondering if you guys want to do a grocery unboxing. <laughs> if anybody's been curious about what sandwiches groceries look like, I need to put them away. So I'm thinking maybe I do an unboxing and then honestly, no, shut the fuck up. I do an unboxing and then <laughs> I get to put my groceries away. You know what I mean? Unbagging, let's go. Low effort content. Aren't you guys a little bit curious? Can we guess the price? Ooh, that's actually fun. I don't know if I'll have the answer. Um, I don't like not look at the price because I definitely need to look at the price, but I kind of just scan and I pick the cheapest one. So I don't remember what the price is. I just know that it was the cheapest option. i have always be curious to see how the other side lives. Yeah. Okay. Here, here we go. This will be fun. This will be fun. Um, I started doing Amazon fresh delivery, which I think is actually pretty affordable. I think any, I think Amazon fresh is cheaper than Instacart. It just, okay, so Amazon Fresh is cheaper than Instacart, but it's uh, way slower. Um, oh, Pharma, thank you for the 33 months. Dude, that's a long time. That is a really long time. And Blake, thank you for the 10 months with the primer. Thank you for the resubs, guys. We've, um, I, we've had a lot of, I had a couple, a couple um, brand new subs off stream, which is cool. I don't, if you're somebody that subs off stream, I could read it as a thank you when I start stream, but I don't because I'm assuming maybe if you sub off stream, it's because you don't want it to be read out. So I see them, you know, getting paid by Twitch and then getting Amazon fresh feels borderline money laundering. Um, <laughs> yeah, that is kind of funny. I feel like that um, when I gift subs, cause it's like, well, I get, I can write it off. Like if you're a streamer and you gift subs, you can write it off. Cause it's technically like a, like, networking or it's like you're you're paying money on twitch like you can write them off it's very odd or if you pay subs to yourself you know like if i do something and i'm like hey guys this or i gift subs to my channel i can write all that off so i get 50 percent of the money back and then i also can write the rest of it off i don't know it's weird um 10 gifties cyril you have to go live one time and then you can write it off Cyril, you should stream once a week and then you could write all Half of the year. gifties off. I am not a lawyer. Um, oh, hold on. Um, oh snap. See, I'm getting better at it. The first time I did it, it was not very good. But then the second time I did it, it was a little bit better. But that time I think I'm getting pretty good at it. Sick trick, thanks. I'm just, I'm practicing, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of my thing now. It's kind of my thing now. And I get a little bit of exercise. And Circus! No, we're gonna call you Kirk. I don't know why I called you Circus. I think every time you've ever resubbed, I've called you Kirk, and then today I pulled out Circus. Stop doing that? Why? I can do it again. I can... I miss it. Can you do it again? No, it's not. It's just a one-time thing. I'm tired now. Um, grocery unboxing for no reason. I need to put the cold stuff away, so I'm gonna take it out of here. Okay, first thing, um, I got some eggs. They are Amazon Prime eggs, I'm pretty sure. 
not super expensive but we do like eggs i'm trying to work on making actual breakfast instead of the jimmy dean sandwiches but i also ordered jimmy dean sandwiches hey voldy what's up um voldy thinks sam is a great friend thank you thank you thank you um eggs i got this is a little treat for me i'm trying to be healthy but i decided to treat myself um chocolate covered almonds i don't know seemed kind of tasty and also not super unhealthy dark chocolate covered almonds thoughts here i'll put my dry stuff over here and my old stuff over here i also again trying to be healthy do they have vitamin d they do wait okay maybe i'm maybe i'm an idiot but why would you specifically put vitamin d on there and then say zero percent like, why do you need to put vitamin D on there and then say that there's none in it? Like, okay, great. <laughs> like, if it was a bad thing, it's good to say that it's not in it, but vitamin D is a good thing. So they're like, vitamin D? No, it's not in there. That'd be crazy, though. Um, regulation, I guess. Um, this is my favorite brand of oat milk. I'm a big oat milk person. I love oat milk. Um, I put it in my coffee every morning. This is my favorite one. I've tried a bunch of different ones. This one is like sweet, but not too sweet. Cause if the oat milk is too sweet, then it like drops to the bottom of the coffee. But this one doesn't do that. So California Farms oat, delicious, love it. Hi mom, I'm unboxing my groceries. Also mom, I got uh, some of your Amazon stuff. I, uh, I hung my hooks up on the back of my bathroom door and um, I have a, I ha well, I can't remember the other things that, what is all the things that you got me? I think I've gotten a lot of it. Gonna have to try that one out. Yeah. Who's an oat milk drinker? Cause I'm obsessed with it. I just like, I can't believe it took me this long to try oat milk. It's exceptionally better than any other kind of milk. That does not say California farms. Okay. You can understand my confusion. It's just missing a couple letters. Khalifa farms. I thought it said California Farms until this moment. Crazy. I like oat milk, but I'm a diehard heavy cream in my coffee guy. Ah. I, d I didn't. Well, I got just regular milk. I, or Did you get no, I got. I got oat milk, oat milk, but I didn't get milk men. And I, I don't know if my Amazon delivery driver was a man, but maybe. Heavy cream and coffee slaps. Heavy cream, like, doesn't really taste like anything. Um, so that's bag number one. Bag number two, I've got hummus because hummus is also oat milk is the best. Drew with the 15. Oat milk is the best. Thank you, Drew. <laughs> Glados, are you okay? <laughs> Should have two boxes delivered to your old address. Okay, I'm gonna go back tomorrow. Glados is not. <laughs> I'll have what she's having. Christ. She needs some good hardware. It sounds like she got somebody... It sounds like somebody installed their hardware into her. Christ. Okay. Um, I got hummus. I got... Um, I don't know. It was not expensive, but they're chicken Caesar salad wraps. So that just sounded kind of good. So I just bought it anyways. Um, I got uh, Greek yogurt because I've been trying to be a little bit healthier also. So it's Greek yogurt with mixed berries. I keep trying Greek yogurt. What movie are we watching? It's Tana? never really quite Sandwich hit for me, but it's almost hit, so I'm gonna try it again. Um, MASH, thank you for the 14. We don't know yet. We don't know what the movie is yet, so we have to figure that out. We will figure it out. Um, but I'm gonna do Greek yogurt. I'll kind of see where that gets us. Um, and then I also am lazy, so I just end up buying like cold brew coffee and then I mix it with my oat milk over ice and that's what I drink in the morning. Could I brew like a giant thing of coffee and then put it in the fridge? Yes. Do I do that? No, I don't do that. So I just do that. Um, oh, this is another thing. I used to eat this all the time when I was a kid and I think it's a really great way to get a uh, protein. 
um is just edamame like you just put it in a bowl you stick it in the microwave and then you just put a little bit of salt on it and it's like a really easy snack this is a really good thing to just snack on like if, because you can put salt on it too so it just kind of gives you that snack filling yeah and oh, i've never tried butter i'm not a big butter person i don't put butter on nearly anything yeah edamame is super good super easy you just like put them in a bowl put them in the microwave what's it taste like um edamame are soy they soybeans or something um yeah step up from raw nudes for sure they taste like in the realm of peas but less sweet and more starchy yeah soybeans have estrogen oh that's true they do yeah yeah they do um but aren't everything that is yeah i don't i don't think that very much listen I am going to stop soon, but I'm not going to stop today. <laughs> so I got these. Um, <laughs> don't tell him he's not here. Um, good breakfast they do taste good they're delicious it's got egg on it it's got sausage on it it's got cheese on it it's a good way to start your morning it's filling i don't understand or they taste good i don't know i don't know maybe if i put vegemite on it all of a sudden it would be it would be appropriate they're great he'd be screaming um then I got, um, I got these for my hummus. Um, I got, uh, dish soap. Because I haven't, like, all the dishes I've made, I've just hand done. It's kind of the cool part about living by yourself is that you don't really make that many dishes. So I've just been hand washing them because, like, I've been using one bowl and one fork and one spoon and I just wash it every time and I put it back on the rack because like it takes two seconds, you know? So I've just kind of been using the same rotation of like the same shit. Um, and then that's it. That's my groceries. I'm going to put this in the fridge. Let's see. This one, this goes in the freezer. What all goes in the freezer? These go in the freezer. We'll do that. These go in the fridge. All three of these go in the fridge. Fridge, fridge, fridge. And then, um, and then these also go in the fridge. Most of the stuff I got is refrigerated, which is good. That means it's healthy. Are we just watching Sam do her chores? No, we're just multitasking. We're multitasking because I needed to put these away and you guys were there and I figured I'd just show you what I get for groceries in case anybody gave a shit. So, yeah. Um, can we make a deal to not talk about Jimmy Dean so my chatterino stops pinging my ass off? <laughs> sorry, sorry, Dean. But, okay, I got, okay. Here's the thing, Dean. I only got the eight pack. I didn't get the 12 pack, so we won't talk about it as long. But the thing about it is that uh, you know who is going to show up on Wednesday and they're going to be in my freezer and he's going to lose his shit. So sorry. So Dean, you came back for a second month. Why? Well, why would you choose? Why would you do that? Thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Speaking of estrogen, I don't know. I want to bring this up. Have you seen the new Skims bras with nipples? No. <laughs> Unwillingly? Fine. I'll tolerate it. See you next month. Um, Skims with nipples. Is that Kim Kardashian's... Is that Kim Kardashian's thing? So they add nipples? Um, can I show this picture of Kim Kardashian in a bra? Is that allowed? <laughs> This is fine. Seems like maybe it's okay. Yes. Excuse us, you just are saying yes. Um I think I'm allowed to do this, right? 
Full send. Is it literally nipples? I mean, it's a fake nipple. It's not a... Okay, whatever. Look, it's a... So it's a bra, but they've added nipples on the top of it. Okay, look for two seconds. I'm going to switch off because I'm scared. I'm scared if I'm... That's TOS. I'm pretty sure it's not. So, okay, why wouldn't you... <laughs> Yeah, why? Why wouldn't you just get a regular bra and then just like cut the nipple part out? You know, like like uh like Regina George did. That seems like that would be it's lift. Okay, yeah, the real answer is that they want their boobs to look good while also still showing a nipple, but also that's so odd. Put marbles in your bra. <laughs> I don't know. I'm patenting underwear with a dick imprint. Honestly, I bet that there's a market. I bet there's a market. So you can look like you're being progressive and not wearing a bra and still get the support of a bra. Yeah, it seems... It somehow feels like... I don't know. I'm gonna eat some of these. I want boxers with package pads. It probably exists, to be honest. Underwear with shit stains already on them. <laughs> yeah. I want underwear. I want a pair of underwear with the camel toe built in. So that way if my parents don't give me a camel toe, I can have it anyways. Just extra gravity. That would be great. <laughs> it's LARPing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, go Kim K, I guess. I have heard that skims are actually pretty good. Like people do like them, but I just can't take It's like when, when Kylie started making makeup, you know, like I just, I'm sorry, but when like a celebrity comes out with a product, I just always go like, okay. Did you hear that people are losing their shit over the Pokemane cookies? The price of them? Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm actually doing great. I had a great day. I woke up this morning. I kind of just like puttered around my house and like put stuff away and worked on some work stuff and um um cleaned my kitchen because I made dinner last night after stream and I just like half ass cleaned because I was tired. <coughs> so I woke up today, cleaned my kitchen. Um, It was so nice, guys. I was able to open my door and Oki just went out and she just laid in the sun and she walked back and forth and like laid in the sun all over the yard and just had a great time. It was so nice. Um, what did you cook? I made a chicken salad. So I cooked some chicken and then put a salad together. So does this place have a fenced in yard? It does. Oki would never leave. Like I could leave the fence open <clears throat> And she would never leave. Like, she wouldn't. She just wouldn't leave. She will not go anywhere that I'm not. So, like, when I used to go camping, like, when I would go backpacking, often a place where, like, it didn't matter, um, I would try to get her to leave. <laughs> I would, like, I would be, like, go run in the woods. Like, go exploring. And she always has to be in eyesight of me. She won't leave. So, it does have a fenced-in area, but it doesn't really matter that much. Um... But anyways, I, uh, I did that for a little bit and then, um, Eric texted me and was like, Hey, do you want to get ramen? And I was like, yeah, sure. Um, and so we went and went and did ramen and that was cool. I haven't, I like really don't get to see Eric that often cause we're just like both busy and stuff. So we'll do that. Like every couple months, we'll just like try to like get food or something like that and have some hot gossip and then, and then go about our, our stuff. Um, it matters so no dog comes near her. Yeah, that's true. That is true. We went for another walk today and there's so many dogs in this neighborhood that just are like scary. <laughs> did Scootish play Among Us today? I don't know. Not on this channel. Scootish, did you play Among Us today? So I did that. Went and got some ramen. That was cool. And then tomorrow, tomorrow's Tuesday. Um... Tomorrow, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to drive back to my old place. Hopefully, get the last of my stuff. Maybe if I can fit it in my car and then clean my house and um, like put it together. My goal after stream while we're doing Movie Monday is to put all my clothes away. Um, 
Oh my god. <laughs> banana. Ace, I don't even think people know the banana bread lore. Chat, there, like when I first started streaming, banana bread was like a giant lore thing. And I, I don't think any of you guys know it, but I used to like make banana bread on stream and stuff. I, yeah, they don't know it. You never get all your stuff. I'm trying to like do it all in my car. And I have a car like that has room in the back, but it's not like a lot of room in the back. And so um, I'm able to go get more than you would think but not that much. Yeah. I saw the video of your room. Guys, my room is atrocious. Like my bathroom is very clean. My, my living room and my kitchen is very clean other than like some boxes and stuff. But what I've done is when I moved my clothes is I just put all of my clothes in garbage bags because that's the easiest way to move. Um, and so if you walk in my room, it is just the floor is almost covered with garbage bags of clothes. And I even went through my clothes and tried to get rid of stuff. Um, I've not heard of the banana bread lore. It's like, I just used to really, I used to make banana bread all the time in Oregon. And so I would make it on stream and I would like make it and then I would eat it on stream. And there was just a lot of banana bread lore. I didn't get my printer yet, mom, because the thing that the printer is on is mine and I still need to get that. We need a sandwich Ludwig banana bread collab. Does he do banana bread? Um... Would you be able to downsize if you needed to? Like clothes, you mean? I could get rid of some clothes, but I'm at the point where I've gotten rid of a bunch of clothes and I don't even know what else to get rid of. Like anything I get rid of is like, oh, I don't want to get rid of that. You know? Hey, Sam. Two Towns is great. Yeah. Has anybody had Two Towns Cider? It's an Oregon brand. Um, And I don't know if it's outside of Oregon, but it's a big... It's a big Oregon brand and a lot of people drink it. Um, and I, uh, I like it a lot. And I have a sweatshirt that I got from, uh, from a place that I worked once that served it. Everyone should do banana bread. It's fucking good. It's cool. Cause I didn't realize it was just an Oregon brand. And then I went, uh, outside of Oregon once and somebody was like, Oh, two town cider. I love that stuff. And I was like, great. It'd be like, if you wore like a Budweiser shirt and somebody was like, Oh, Budweiser. I love that. And you'd be like, Okay. Like, that's what it was to me. And then I learned that it was, uh, like, local to Oregon. I remember a stream where you said something about cooking burgers on the grill and the grill caught fire. Yeah, <laughs> that did happen. That did happen, actually. I forgot about that. Um, we used to have a Traeger, and it was, like, a really nice one. It was one of the, like, big ones. And what happened is I think that we just didn't clean the grease trap and the, it caught on fire and I went inside it caught on fire and I ran inside to my ex and I was like the Traeger's on fire and he was like what and I was like the Traeger's on fire and we went out there and it was on fire and so I grabbed the hose um which thinking now since it it wasn't a grease fire but you know probably was not the best choice but I ended up hosing it down and it fixed it it solved it uh, but that probably wasn't, yeah, it wasn't like grabbing the hose was not correct, but in my defense, I didn't realize what was happening. I didn't realize that it was like the grease had like caught on fire. I thought that it was, uh, cause Traeger, it uses wood pellets. So in my head, I was like, I don't know, wood pellet fire. Yeah, don't throw your hose on the fire. Yeah, I grabbed I grabbed the hose. Um, that's funny. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. So, anyways, congrats on the new house. Thank you. It's great. I love it. I'm just having a great time. I'm very excited to uh, keep decorating it because right now I'm at the part where I'm just putting stuff away. I haven't started decorating, so I'm excited to start decorating. This almond is weird shaped. It's an unusual grease fire. Well, here's what I do. This is probably my bad, but when I cook steaks or um or burgers on the Traeger, um I don't really know how to describe it. There's the grill, and then underneath the grill, there's kind of this thing that um kind of in a way stops the fire from directly touching the meat. Because a Traeger is technically a smoker it's not a grill it's just a smoker that gets really really hot 
and so it cooks things the way that like an oven does um it's like if you took an oven and if you took an oven and a barbecue and a smoker and mixed them all into one and so i um what I would do is I would pull the meat like a little bit to the edge where the flames could actually like lick it a little bit. And so when I made steaks and stuff, cause I liked the charred edges and with Traeger's sometimes you can't get the charring as well. So I would pull them to the edge. And the only problem with that is the meat would drip down into where the flame is, which is like not what you want. You want it to drip onto the grease trap. And so that was kind of my bad, but, um, it made it really good. Burgers on the Traeger sound like a country song. And this that's yep, pretty much. Basically, I have a good idea for the window. I came up with a good idea too. I think I'm gonna maybe put the window up, but then get a piece of canvas that has magnets and put magnets on the window and magnets on the back of the canvas, and then I'll be able to like just throw that that piece of canvas up over the top of the window when I don't wanna um have it up there. But Anyways, what did you guys do today? Tell me about your Monday. Anybody have any uh, Thanksgiving plans? Or anybody avoiding Thanksgiving plans? Minecraft all day? You guys are so deep in the Minecraft server. I'm excited to get in there and see what you've done. Puppy dog sitting in Minecraft? Oh, fun. Ran four miles? Nice. Getting a Popeye's turkey? Yeah, somebody said that Popeye's... Oh, it'll get delivered during stream. But I decided I'm going to cook a turkey for Thanksgiving. Um, I'm doing a Friendsgiving. And since I'm technically hosting, I think that I should cook the turkey. So I've ordered a turkey. I also ordered a ham. But then somebody else that's coming told me that they're bringing a ham. So I can just put that in the freezer. Um but I'm going to cook a turkey. I'm also going to make the gravy and I'm going to try to make salad and deviled eggs, but it kind of depends like how busy I get. Um, did you buy it today? Is it thawing? It's on its way here. So it should thaw today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. I need it for Friday. So yeah. Turkey's hard to transport. Well, I'm going to cook it there. I'm not going to cook it here. That should be enough time, right? Like today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. That should be okay. I got a butterball turkey, so it's not super big because we'll have the turkey and then we'll have the ham. And um, how big is it? I think it was the 10 to 12 pound one. Um, Because that turkey and ham and then there's going to be like probably 12-ish people going. That's definitely enough time if it's Friday. Yeah. Prep at home, bake at the place. Yeah, that's my that's my thought is I'll prep it at home and then bake it at the place. Thawing the turkey catches the people off guard. Yeah, I don't know if it's frozen. Do you use the Traeger for the turkey? No, you know what I looked up though is I looked up cooking a brisket on a Traeger because um, I don't, we always used to do brisket for Thanksgiving and it's really tasty, but I didn't realize that you have to cook a brisket like for like 12 hours. Like you have to start it like the night before. I didn't realize that. I thought it was just like a day, like couple hour thing. So I'm not cooking a brisket, but I would like to try at some point. So you may not need to brine. Perfect. You got to do a brisket on a Traeger. Yeah, that's what we always would do for holidays is do brisket on the Traeger. So roast the shit out of brisket. Yeah, it's tasty. Get Burger King. Get large roasting pan and platter at the dollar store. The dollar store is actually so goaded for... um stuff like plates and bowls and cups like if you go to the dollar store you can get all of that stuff and obviously a dollar and it's like pretty decent quality like you can just get plain white plates and bowls at the dollar tree and it's like easy the country runs on dollar, dollar general i've actually never been to a dollar general they didn't have any around me so i don't know what it is um mason you're invited to mine you guys should have a thanksgiving on the minecraft server That'd be kind of fun. I don't really know how that would work out, but it definitely could be done. So I think that that's what my Thanksgiving is going to be. Apparently Dollar Tree is the worst retailer to work for. It feels like it. When I go into a Dollar Tree or like a dollar store, it feels not good. 
the dollar stores are actually pretty expensive compared to the other places. Well, the thing that's funny is like in Oregon, there's no sales tax. So when you go to buy something, it's exactly the price that it is. But in other places, there's a sales tax. So if you go into the Dollar Tree and you buy something for a dollar, it's not a dollar. Where if you buy something at the Dollar Tree in Oregon, it is a dollar. You know, because there's no sales tax. I don't know what I'll be able to do on my MacBook over Thanksgiving, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to do anything. We can have pumpkin pie. Oh, can you do pumpkin pie in Minecraft? That's fun. I should see if somebody will bring a pie. I've heard two different people that are coming to the Friendsgiving say, I don't want to bring dessert because everybody ends up bringing dessert. And now I'm afraid that nobody's going to bring dessert um, because they don't want to uh, be the guy that brings dessert. <laughs> Um, we're a cranberry sauce household. My dad was adamant that I need to have cranberry sauce. And I was like, dude, I don't know if anybody actually likes cranberry sauce. I don't know if I should do it. And he was like, you have to get it. And he's like, even if it's bad cranberry sauce, you have to get it. And I was like, okay. There's got to be some sort of assignment. Well, what I've done is I messaged the group chat and just said, tell me what you're bringing so I can make sure that there's not like three people bringing mashed potatoes, you know? I think Non's doing mashed potatoes. Barry said he's bringing alcohol. Um, I think Brody's going to make sausage rolls, which I've, I've had sausage rolls once. I'm trying to think like maybe some of you guys could tell me like what would be something good to put on them? Like, could you put gravy on sausage rolls? Would that be weird? Hi, Lav. Good to see you. Make cranberry sauce. Do people like cranberry sauce, though? I don't think people like cranberry sauce. Ketchup or tomato sauce? Oh, I love ketchup. Um, I'd go mustard. Oh, I bet like a fancy mustard would be good. Um, it goes great with turkey. Okay. I mean, you can put gravy on anything. Gravy, barbecue sauce, ketchup would all work on a sausage roll. Um, yeah, like a hot mustard or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, um, Adam's bringing a, <laughs> these almonds have dark chocolate powder on them and it's getting everywhere. Um, um, Adam's bringing the ham, which is great. Cause I was going to do the ham and the turkey, but now I don't have to do both. Um, Doug said he's bringing whatever's like most inconvenient and Eric will probably bring like, um, I don't know, applesauce or something. I have no idea. Dad says cranberry sauce is a tradition. I will make sure that there is cranberry sauce. Sausage rolls don't discriminate based on sauces. They're sauce friendly. Um... Oh, mac and cheese. Good point. My family didn't do mac and cheese at Thanksgiving, um, but I learned about mac and cheese at Thanksgiving and apparently it's like a really big thing. I had never heard of that until I like moved out and every other family I've met does mac and cheese for Thanksgiving. Never, never knew that was a thing. Yeah, you have to have mac and cheese. Yeah, some I said rolls. Um, can we make a list actually? Do you guys want to make a list with me and try to figure out like, um, like what the essentials are for Thanksgiving? So, so turkey, ham, rolls, uh, mac and cheese, um, mashed potatoes, alcohol, um, gravy, Cran cranberry sauce. Um, is this Brody's first Thanksgiving? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. Pizza? No, <laughs> not bringing pizza. Canes salad. I think I'm gonna bring salad, Max. Um, I'm gonna do deviled eggs too. I I really don't know if I'm gonna have time to do all of those, but deviled eggs and salad are like. Nobody ever brings salad to Thanksgiving and I love salad and also like you should have salad and deviled eggs are a must and I make really good deviled eggs. Probably guns and fucking freedom. Yo, did anybody bring the, uh, the guns? Stuffing? Oh uh, yeah, stuffing. 
Good call. Um, green bean bundles. Green bean casserole is something that is pretty important, but like, I don't know if anybody can make that. Um, Mike, thank you for gifting us up to lav. Caesar salad. You think I was, I was going to make like a strawberry salad. I was going to make like a spinach strawberry salad. Yeah. Hot take, but I'd rather have stuffing than mac and cheese. Um, it depends on the mac and cheese. If it's like really good sloppy mac and cheese, but I hate it when it's like dry. Is California? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can have weed. Um, what about asparagus or something? Yeah, maybe. I'm just trying to like, what are the, the musts? Um, yo, Ace, thank you for giving us up to Post Malone. I think Post Malone is a couple months subbed now. Pumpkin pie. Oh yeah. Dessert. Maybe I should make a group chat with everybody that's coming. Do people have mac and cheese at Thanksgiving? Yeah, for sure. Big time. Big time. Pecan pie. Some guy go straight in the garbage. I like if there's pumpkin pie there, I'll have like the tiniest amount. Sweet potatoes. I'm not putting sweet potatoes on the list. I refuse. I refuse. If somebody wants to do sweet potatoes, they're going to have to come up with it themselves, but I'm not going to advocate for them. Dessert. I'm going to do dessert slash pie because I know it's the same, but you know, I love roasted sweet potatoes. I can't do it with ham. What about potato salad? I don't know. You know what I mean? Coffee? Really? Um, okay. I think that that's pretty good. Scalloped potatoes. <laughs> yeah, but we have mashed potatoes, dude. We have mashed potatoes. Um, also, random appreciation for my Purple Cliff merch that is still to this day my favorite sweatshirt that I have. And it's finally cold enough in LA to wear sweatshirts. And so I've been wearing the shit out of that. But um, I would like to cheat the system and get a shiny if um, if I could, please. I beg because it is a great sweatshirt. And the potato authority mashed for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I know, let's see, Nan is doing mashed potatoes. Uh, somebody said they're doing rolls. Ham, I think, is Adam. Uh, turkey is Sam. Deviled eggs, Sam. Uh, salad is Sam. Um, I think Brody, he was going to do mashed potatoes, but um, Nan's doing those. Um, sausage rolls um gravy oh i'm doing gravy too um alcohol i think is berry um yeah okay i think that's good smith thank you so much for the 11 almost a year are you kidding me dude thank you so much let brody do mac and cheese i don't know if he knows how to do mac and cheese i could check I feel like he'd probably be able to do that. Um. Oh no, dog is back with the fucking auto mod. Uh. Charlie's prune and sausage stuffing. That looks kind of tasty. That looks good. Yummy. And uh, they didn't put their whole life story before putting the ingredient list. And the this is the rarest. Look how, sh guys, look how short this recipe is. <laughs> they didn't write like a whole autobiography before making the thing. Um, the stuffing is so good when fried up the next day. Oh, search with a poached. Oh my God. Serve with a poached egg. That would be so good. <gasps> Yummy. That looks great. I'm going to bookmark that because that actually does look really good. I'm going to take this list of things and I'm going to send it in the group chat. Actually, I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. I don't know. You know what I hate about Discord? The fact that you can't. Hold on. The fact that you can't um, make a group chat with people unless you. Um, uh, okay. Hold 
one. Uh, bringing in what? Okay, I just wanted to put the list of stuff into the group chat and then people can do what they want with it. <coughs> Pavlova? What is that? I've never heard of that. Trying to follow recipes from the internet is an absolute worst nowadays. You know what's a really great resource to use? Uh, the Tasty app. Um, it's... It's cool because they have the recipe, they have the ingredients, and then they also have little, for each step, they have like a little short video. So it'll like show, like it'll say like, okay, you have to do this. And then it'll like show somebody doing it from like a top down camera. Um, so if you're just like not really sure, like you know what you're supposed to do, but you're not really sure what that looks like, it'll show you. And it's like so great and they have an app and you can like favorite recipes my chicken and dumplings recipe is from the tasty app i just changed some stuff in it but it's great is like meringue let me look it up <coughs> those almonds like stuck in my throat that just looks like a pile of whipped cream with fruit on top of it everyone should bring plastic containers for leftovers so true so true. I think I've had this before, but I, we call it something different. Um, what do we call it? I think we call it something different. Um, the metal disposable muffin containers also work great for leftovers. Oh, interesting. Costco pumpkin pie. Jack, why don't you just come to Thanksgiving? Why don't you just make the make the move? Um Oh, I just I got your DM. That's big. This is big. Is mad overrated? It looks okay. Here's the thing though. When I eat cake or anything that has like whipped cream or frosting on it, I kind of take like half of it off. So would I even like that? Because that looks like that's what it is 90% of. LA smells. Okay, well, I actually, we've never met, so I don't have any proof that you don't. And you don't know if I don't smell. So just think, we'll have like turkey cooking. They'll never know. One stream. Uh, um. Ooh, those look tasty. Maple shortbread bars. Yummy. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Why did you cut it off here, though? <laughs> Caitlin, why did you leave it here? <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's what I... That's good. No, it's fine. I was really excited. I was like, mmm, those look so tasty. If the icing is as thick as the cake, I can no longer enjoy the cake. Yeah, if I have cake with like frosting or anything on it, I usually will scoop like half of it off. I like frosting, but there's just always too much on. A couple of boxes of donuts. That's an easy win. Honestly, like sometimes the laziest thing to bring to Thanksgiving is like the easy win stuff. Like a box of donuts, like I don't know. Sparkling cider is always big for me. I fucking love like um what's the what's the brand of sparkling cider that everybody has? Um um bag of chips, Martinelli's. Yeah, Martinelli's is so good. I love it. Fondant is a weird time. I hate fondant. I've never had good tasting fondant though. I mean, it probably is out there, but every time I've had it it's kind of like just unflavorful like sugar. Um, I thought it was an unrestricted chat. Well, we got like, um, uh, botted yesterday with like a weird message. There was like a bunch of people that wrote weird messages. And so I turned shield mode on and then we turned shield mode off and it seems like shield mode is still kind of sensitive. Cutie always talks about how fondant is terrible. I hate using it. I mean, I think that fondant is cheating. 
because fondant is easy to make a cake look fancy but it doesn't taste good so it's way more impressive if you can like make something that looks cool out of like buttercream or like some frosting that looks good uh but working with fondant is kind of cheating and it also hardens so if you make something it's not gonna like fall apart you know we're like Humidity is a big factor when it comes to cake. So if you make something with like buttercream, if the humidity is not correct in the room, it'll just melt. What's fondant? No, fondant. It's like fondant. Um it let's see. It's like this. It's basically like clay. Um like when you see these really really like clean cakes like this a lot of times it's fondant people are really good at putting regular frosting on but it's just and you can like make shapes with it and stuff and it gets hard you know but it tastes bad it just is like sweet but like clay um modeling chocolate over fondant yeah i used to like me and uh me and my mom went to like these professional cake making classes for like a while and so i used to make cakes um and it's like anytime anybody had a birthday or like there was any kind of event like i would make a cake for it and i got pretty good at it like i could make like a basket weave texture so like one time i made this really pretty cake where the whole outside of it looked like a basket weave and then I just covered the whole top with fruit and so it looked like a basket full of fruit um I know how to make a rose out of frosting no I'm not trolling you um you uh you basically you get the um the little head of the I don't remember what you call it the piping thing and you get one that's shaped like a teardrop a baking stream I could I could do a baking stream I probably could still make a pretty decent like cake um, you get one that's shaped like a teardrop and then you just make this little like bloop in the center and then you just do loops overlapping, like slowly building outwards and you can make a rose, like a really pretty rose. Why haven't you and cutie baked yet? Cause I've never told her that I <laughs> do that. I don't want to be like, Hey, I don't know. I just like, but I did like, I know how to know, I know how to do cake decorating. Like I've, de I did it for a long time. I don't have any pictures of any of the cakes. Actually, mom, do you have any of the pictures of the cakes that we did? Because I don't have them anymore, but like you might. Make a cake with mom. We could do that. Maybe like Christmas when I go over there. Probably. They might be on, uh, they might be on Facebook, but mine's did. The actual recipe. Okay. Um, it wants me to sign in but it won't let me go around it. New York Times is fucked up. Well, I see it, but it will let me do it. A family baking stream would be super wholesome. Looks like Oki has her spot on the couch. She does. I went, uh, went and got ramen today, and it was the first time that I left her alone in the house, and there's like a good and a bad thing. The bad thing is she barked when I was gone, and I could tell that she barked um, because when I came in like through the gate, I could hear it. But the good thing is that it was really muffled. So I don't want her to bark, but um, I thought that her barking was potentially going to be really loud and it wasn't like I could, I was like 10 feet away from my house and I still couldn't tell if the barking was coming from my house or if it was coming from somewhere else. Um, which is good, and that means that it's not going to bother anybody, which was a fear of mine. I just didn't know how thin the walls were. I think it'd be a great content if you just surprise Cutie mid-cake collab with these skills. <laughs> I should. I should tell her we. I want to do a cake-making collab, but not tell her that I know how to do any of that stuff and just, like, bust out a rose. Be like, what is this thing? Oh, I, I'm a, I bet I could make a rose with this. Um... <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> That'd be funny. I think I like anything could happen, but I uh I think that me and her and Doug are gonna play uh Lethal Company next week. They both said yes. So I don't know if it's like for sure because anything could happen, but um but I inquired and they both said yes. Let's make a scuffed wait. Oh wait, what can I do? You guys saw the picture of the birthday cake. She made me a birthday cake and she made me a divorce cake. 
and they both were insane they were especially the birthday cake because it collapsed halfway to the party and so it was spyro and the whole face just fell off um i don't know where the pictures are i would show you i probably have them on my phone somewhere but i'm too lazy um so anyways we'll see we'll see how that goes which was tastier um ooh, i think the divorce cake had i love chocolate and it was like all chocolate and then i think it had like a raspberry filling or something yeah that's a picture of the cake's face after it collapsed so that was really good sam shows up as a cake baking finger. <laughs> i think it'd be good um i think it'd be good She's so hard on herself too. Yeah, we've had like conversations about it before because I like share the sentiment of just like not really ever being uh quite satisfied with what I do, you know? Like I feel like I just am never quite fully satisfied like nothing's quite up to my own standard um and so even though like other people will like give words of affirmation i just am like ah it could have been better like okay it went okay it was all right like it went okay um but i don't know um what are you are you texting me oh oh cool um that one picture is chaotic but i'm still gonna show it okay my mom sent me some pictures um let me show you guys these real quick one moment i'm just gonna show this one because it kind of shows the roses uh there's that one and then and then I want to show this one because it's funny. Um, I wish I had a picture of the basket weave cake. I wonder... I heard words of affirmation. Can I try? No, because I'll get uncomfortable and then I won't say thank you. I'll just be like, oh. <laughs> because I am bad at affection. Okay, let me see. Hold on. I'm looking... At something real quick um I don't think that I'm going to find it but there's a chance and it's not here great um I'm yeah that's well that's not really words of affirmation that's just inspirational I felt the Sam and she replied with an Ian Capone actually that is true I think that was like one of the first Ian Capones is what it was so this is not a picture of a cake but my mom just sent it to me when i was a kid i grew up on a farm and we had a bunch of apple trees and you can't possibly like eat that many apples and so my dad used to pick up all of the apples that had fallen on the ground and we used to make cider out of them and so my dad used to put the these things which this is what's brewing the hard cider in the bathtub this was our upstairs bathroom and so there was like a period of time every year where there was just like hard cider brewing in the upstairs uh, bathtub uh and so this is a big memory is like you know no baths at in the fall because we're brewing i have to give so many lemons away i love lemons love them i'll just i'll cut up a lemon and I'll dip it in like a bowl of sugar and I'll just eat it. It's so bad for my teeth. We made cider in my dorm room as an undergrad. Did it always smell like vomit in your dorm room? Because that's what it smells like. And then this, okay, I want to preface it with saying the cupcakes don't look cute. But the point that I'm making is this is what the roses look like. So the chocolate frosting and the cupcakes themselves are not very interesting. Uh, but this is what you do with the roses is like, like you can make them look like this with like buttercream frosting and it's really like not hard like once you figure out the like finesse of it like it's pretty easy um yeah it's okay the thing that we just would always have a hard time with is making the buttercream frosting in a way that it didn't melt buttercream frosting is kind of hard yeah the leaves are impressive too the leaves leaves are pretty easy you can also make leaves out of fondant and i know that fondant sucks but if you're making just leaves out of fondant it's fine because it's not like that big of a part of the cake 
Um, those look like meatloaf cupcakes. I'm friends with one of the oldest orchard growers on the East Coast, and he's just a super chill dude who loves delivering apples and cider to people. There's a lot of places in Oregon where you'll just be like driving down a back road and you'll just see like um, a wooden stand that just has like a bunch of fruit and you go up to it and there's just a box that's like for cash and it's usually not even attached to anything. It's just like honor system. Like, hey, if you take some fruit, put some money in this box, please don't steal it. And that's how it is. <laughs> the sugar is what gives it the right texture. Yeah. I don't know what makes it melt. Probably the butter, but. Buttercream frosting requires way more sugar than you think it needs. Less butter, more uh, sugar. I become a homeless, travel to Oregon. Well, the problem with that is that it rains a lot. So if you do that, um, just prepare to have to bring a tarp or something with you. I used to have the dumbest, this is like not only the most like privileged take as somebody that like never had to live on the streets, but also just like a dumb thing. But when I was a kid, I used to be like, if you're going to be homeless, why would you be homeless in Oregon? Like it rains so much. Like, why wouldn't you go to like somewhere sunny, like California? <laughs> and it was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, why you think that people are just like choosing this i like i literally when i was like a kid i remember thinking that being like why would you be in oregon it's so rainy here like, it's so wet <laughs> like I, it was like the dumbest take um why the fuck are you homeless just travel it's like that paris hilton shirt oregon is so pretty it is pretty kids can have dumb takes i mean i've told you about my things that I've done as a child that just baffling yeah that's how kids be bad takes for everything or they just like see the world at face value and just analyze it without knowing anything you know which is like I guess you can't really like fault them for but that's just, that's just yeah hi heavenly how are you me and my friends homemade wine in early 20s it came in these plastic containers and someone wrote piss and clown juice on them so we just ended up calling it piss and or clown juice that's funny i would say shit like that out loud and my mom would immediately scold me and tell me why that's not cool i remember like saying i can't remember exactly what i said but it was something in that realm um when i was in like fourth grade and my like fourth grade teacher like got really mad at me and i was like i wasn't a, a like a a trouble starter when I was in kid or when I was in kid when I was in school like I wasn't like a kid that got in trouble on purpose I was like terrified of getting in trouble and so if I did ever get in trouble in school I was like traumatized I remember one time we did um did you guys do time tests where it was like you would do your like twos and then you would do your threes and then you would do your fours and so mine was just like a whole page of like four times three, three times four, six times four, like all the way across. And you have to like do all of them. And I used to have a calculator in my lap because I'm really bad at math and I've always been really bad at math. And so I would have a calculator in my lap. And one time my teacher caught me with the calculator in my lap. She came over, walked behind me and grabbed it out of my lap and didn't say anything. And for the next probably like couple weeks, I was so scared that my mom was going to find out like she was going to call my mom. And so every time I was home and the phone rang, I would like my stomach would drop and I would like look. And I would like listen to see if it was like the teacher calling my mom. And I don't think she ever called my mom or if she did, my mom was probably like, OK, that sucks, but not going to punish her for. Um, And this is how it's revealed. Yeah, maybe. But Anyways, I, uh, I was so terrified that I was going to get in trouble. And I remember just for weeks, every time the phone rang, I was, I was absolutely like horrified because I just, I like hated getting in trouble. I had another teacher that what I used to do is before we would start the time, I would at the top of the paper, I would go like, 
Like if I was doing my twos, I would do one times two, two times two, three times three, three times two, four times two. Um, and all the way across the top of the page before he started the time, I would write the answers basically like a little um, cheat sheet to what the answers were for all of them. And then once he started the time, I could just like refer up to what it was. And this is a teacher I've talked about before. He was retiring that year. So he didn't give a fuck about anything. He used to like for a whole half a day, he would turn on Rocky and Bullwinkle and just let us sit and watch TV. Like he didn't make us do anything um, because he was he was done. And so he just would put on cartoons and he would let us watch cartoons for like half a day. Um, But anyways, he saw me doing that once and he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, um... I just, you know, I like to have a reference up there. And I was like, I was like, I do it normally, but I just like to have that up there. So that way I can like double check my answers. I promise I don't do it while I'm doing the time tests. And he was like, all right. <laughs> like he just actually didn't give a shit. So he was like, whatever. And he would just let me do them like that. When we get in serious trouble, the school would send letters home with the kid who was in trouble, just expecting us to deliver them. Did you just not do that? Because I would just simply not. I, a couple times, mom, I hate to admit it, but we had a uh, reading we had to do. So we had to like read certain things and then we had to have our parents sign off on it. Like, um, I don't know. It was just like, Hey, we're sending home this piece of material. You have to read it and then have a parent signed off that you read, read it. And I would forge my mom's signature for that like regularly because I didn't read it and I didn't want to read it and it, there was nothing that came out of it. So I would just like forge my mom's signature <laughs> Um, he wasn't dumb. He was ready to cash in that pension. Yeah, no, he was ready to go. He had diabetes and every day, um, I guess maybe every day he would gather all of the kids around that wanted to watch and would do the diabetes test, you know, where they like prick their finger and stuff. And he would let everybody watch. <laughs> it was just like, Hey, if anybody wants to gather around, I'm going to do my diabetes test. And we'd be like, Ooh, <laughs> he comes into a chat and gives you grief. Listen, I turned out decent, okay? I got my cosmetology degree. That's, that's why she can't read my messages. You know what makes me sad is I always wanted to be in the spelling bee. And they would, every year they would come around and they would give us a spelling test. And if you did well on it, then you would go to like the next round and then you would do another test. And then if you did well on that, then they would put you in the spelling bee. And I... I'm not going to say that I didn't try in school because that's not true. I just wasn't really super driven in school and I was also bad at it. So I was really demotivated because I was bad at school. So I tried enough to get grades that my parents wouldn't get mad at. Um, but I didn't try on my own accord. You said my report card? Yeah, sure. Um, but... I really wanted to be in the spelling bee because I think I liked attention. So I wanted to be on stage because I wanted to be in the spelling bee. And every time the spelling bee test would come around, I would give it more effort than I've given anything in my life. And I never once made it past that first round. And one of my best friends would make it every year. Actually, this is kind of funny. So two of my best friends from high school ended up getting married to each other and they both were in the spelling bee every single year and there's a really cute picture of both of them standing on stage next to each other in like the third grade spelling bee um that they still have um that's that's pretty cute but i always wanted to be in the spelling bee and i never could because i wasn't good enough when i was in fifth grade i accidentally went to the wrong locker and was trying to open it and the person whose locker was thought i was trying to steal stuff and i felt bad for accidentally making them sad so i went through that entire year without actually saying what I actually happened because the guilt of upsetting someone that is a thousand percent something I would do my first test I, I failed was a spelling me or spelling test I got screwed out of going to the state spelling me because my teacher misheard me no um I don't remember what the kid's name was but I had a friend that didn't go to school with me um that he said one of his um one of his friends was in a spelling bee and I don't remember what his friend's name was, but it was like, it was like his first name started with a C and his last name, his last name had a U-N-T in it, 
but basically he got up on stage and they make you spell your name um during spelling bees like the first thing you do is you get up there and he was like whatever his name was c u n t and then he like realized that he had fucked up and then also people started laughing and so then he didn't know what had happened because he didn't know what that word meant and so then he stopped and then the teacher was like okay thank you <laughs> and he went back he went back to his like bleachers and like knew he fucked up but he just thought that they dismissed him because he spelled it wrong but it was that was why <laughs> Core traumatic injury, yeah. I'll remember that forever. I'm trying to remember, like, do you guys have, like, a memory of being a kid that you'll, like, never forget because maybe it was, like, embarrassing or something that now, as an adult, it, like, doesn't even matter, but you still remember it? Um, Like, just shit like that. So many. Yeah. I was such a fuck-ass tryhard in elementary school. I vividly remember watching a kid spell train c-h-r-a-i-n in my head being like this fucking dummy um that sounds like the british way to spell it my favorite was when someone got caught with a phone and refers it refused to turn it in so it would turn into a weird stalemate <laughs> um i got put in the timeout corner in first grade um and it was the first time i ever got in trouble in school i remember one of my best friends <laughs> stupid i love sharing stories like this I remember in uh, when I was in school, one of my best friends in second grade threw up in the middle of class. Like we were just like standing in the middle of the classroom and he just threw up on the carpet. Don't know why. And I was so embarrassed. I had like secondhand embarrassment for him so bad that I didn't talk to him for like a week after that because I was like, I just had this emotion. And as a kid, I didn't know what that emotion was, but I just was embarrassed like for him and so i just got nervous and i didn't want to talk to him for like a week <laughs> kids people are just... <laughs> yeah why don't why do kids projectile vomit why do kids vomit so much but then when we become adults we just like stop doing that you know like maybe we can control it but like kids just <laughs> <laughs> they puke for no reason and then they act like Nothing. <laughs> they just throw up and then continue on their day. <laughs> Someone made me do an impossible sit up by holding a towel over my face while I did it. They pulled the towel off my face. Come forth. <laughs> That's awful. My dad said he'd never make me chocolate milk again because I didn't eat my broccoli. Once I'm still afraid to ask him to see if he'd make me some. I'm just going to ask him to see if he remembers. One time, <laughs> so weird. One time when I was a kid, like, I I don't know what happened. When I was a kid, I used to drink a lot of milk. Like, not like, <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Regular milk, like cow's milk. I just really liked milk. Like, I would have a glass of milk with, like, every meal. And I was just like, I woke up one day and I just had, like, a particular... <laughs> <laughs> that sentence almost went where it didn't need to um i woke up one day and i just like wanted i was like man i'm just craving milk today so i asked my mom if i could have a glass of milk and she was like okay and then i was like can i have another glass of milk and she was like okay and then i was like can i have another glass of milk and she was like yeah sure i don't know what's going on but pop off queen and i was watching movies in their bed because i always used to go lay in their bed and watch movies and i just <laughs> i just laid in bed and <laughs> drank milk <laughs> and then I th <laughs> I threw up milk <laughs> like all over their bed <gasps> I don't know what happened <laughs> like I just <laughs> I, I don't know why I just woke up that one day and I just wanted a bunch of milk <laughs> And I just drank it until I threw up. <laughs> and then just, just threw it up. I also one time, there's another throw up story. One, one year my grandma gave me one of those like chocolate oranges. 
for Christmas or somebody did. I got a chocolate orange for Christmas. The ones that you like smack on the table and they break open. And my grandma had also gotten me. She she tried so hard. She knew that I liked Spyro the Dragon, but she didn't really understand what it was. So I think she like went into a Toys R Us and she like asked if they had anything Spyro and they were like, um, well, we have these like player guides for games. And she was like, okay. And so she bought like a player guide for a Spyro game for like the Game Boy that I didn't even have. And she gave it to me for Christmas. And she was like, here, you love this game. And I was like, thanks grandma. And I didn't have that game. And I like, didn't have that console. And I was like, I can't use this. And so I was like, thanks grandma. I love it. And then my mom was like, do you want to go return that? And I was like, yeah, I don't want this. And so we went to Toys R Us to like, um, return it because I couldn't do anything with it, but we didn't want to tell my grandma cause she got it out of the kindness of her heart. Um, and that same day I had eaten the entire chocolate orange. <laughs> Like not a bit of it. I ate the entire thing (laughs) and we went to Toys R Us and as my mom was like doing the transaction at the front counter to like return the thing, I just threw up chocolate orange all over the lobby of the Toys R Us, (laughs) like everywhere. (laughs) nightmare fuel (laughs) yeah (laughs) my uh i hold on there was a message one time i threw up on my kitchen floor and then my brother (laughs) spilled i have a story like this this is probably one of my most embarrassing stories but i'm gonna tell it anyways and it has to do with me and two of my friends all peeing our pants at the same time (laughs) and this is this is a disgusting story but i'm gonna tell it anyways because it's i'm it's fine um were you sick with these stories or was it completely out of nowhere? Uh, no, it was kind of, I mean, I think I felt bad maybe for like 15 minutes. <laughs> How the hell? Okay. So I went to a summer camp one year and it was a church camp, but I didn't know it was a church camp until they, I was going through the list of things that you have to pack for church and, or for camp. And it said a Bible. And so my friends were like, oh, you should come to this camp with us. It's so fun. It's so great. We go every year. And I was like, oh yeah, I'd love to go. And I signed up. And then it was like, okay, here's all of the things you have to bring. And there was a Bible on there. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't know. But I was like, you know what? Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll go anyways. So I went and it was awesome. And you only had to go to church. Like you, you woke up in the morning and you had breakfast and then they had a little, like, I don't know. It was like a, I don't know, little church sermon. And then at night before bed, you would go and have a little church sermon and everything else in between was like awesome. They played games. There was like boys there and it was like like it was it was great i had a really great time um but anyways we stayed in cabins and i stayed in a cabin with the two friends that i went to high school with and then three other girls that um were from other schools and we were all hanging out in the cabin and we were just kind of like goofing and stuff and (laughs) i don't know what happened but we started laughing. We were laughing about something. And I <laughs> was laughing so hard that I peed my pants. <laughs> and <laughs> I just I just peed my pants. And <laughs> the the cabin was like at a weird angle. And so it, like I peed my pants and then it like went on the floor. <laughs> And it started moving. And my friend, my best friend from high school, she was known for peeing her pants. Like she, whenever she laughed too hard, she would like always pee her pants. And so she peed her pants because she was laughing so hard at the fact that I peed my pants. And then there was another girl, one of the girls that went to the other school that was laughing at the fact that we had peed our pants. And so she jumped off of the top bunk of her bunk bed and (laughs) beat her pants too (laughs) so like we all had beat our pants (laughs) the slope details kidding (laughs) songs it was like as she was as she was jumping down she was peeing her pants (laughs) and 
we were like we were all like laughing <laughs> this is deranged this is an awful story um and the worst part is that at the bottom of the slope was my camp my camp counselor's bunk <laughs> And so anyways, there was this girl that was also in our cabin and she was kind of a bitch. And she was just like she just hated us. She was like annoyed with everything we did. She talked shit about us the whole time. She was just like so mean to us. And she came back into the cabin as this was happening. So she and she's justified. She walked into the cabin and just noticed that three of her bunkmates had peed in the cabin. And she got so mad that she went into the like the locker room area and told everybody that we had peed our pants in the cabin. And so everyone at camp knew our cabin was the pee cabin. And they would call us the, the pee cabin. And so we just got ostracized at ca at camp for being like the pee girls. And it was so embarrassing. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> the piss girls. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was my only my only experience at church camp. Um and you know what, despite all that it was still really fun. Is there something there with a gun? I don't really have a whole lot of shame, to be honest. You know, you farm a couple- Look, have you seen the title songs? That's- <laughs> Come on. <laughs> in summer camp. Not a John Link. <laughs> yes! You ain't cool! Unless you pee your pants! <laughs> wow. Hey man, Ernie pees pants too! Alright! <laughs> <laughs> If peeing your pants is cool, <laughs> consider me Miles Davis. <laughs> oh! That was the grossest thing I've ever heard in my life! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> uh, yeah, so I also remember, um, I remember our counselor, our, like, cabin leader, I guess, or whatever, coming inside <laughs> the cabin, and she realized that we had, like, peed everywhere, <laughs> and she had to go get a bag of cat litter, and she just was walking around the cabin just <laughs> with the cat litter because it sucks. <laughs> and she was so mad. And we just all were standing there really embarrassed. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> How much pee was in there? <laughs> I don't know. I blocked it out. We <laughs> need litter. Yeah. I would have been pissed. Well, that you would have been one of us. Was it like a noticeable puddle of piss? I don't know. I just know that it rolled down the cabin floors towards her bunk, so it probably went like under her bunk. I don't know. <laughs> it's that's probably like my most I think that may be my most embarrassing story that I can tell. I probably have more embarrassing stories, but they're just like I could never tell them on main, but I can't think of anything. That's a story I've wanted to tell on stream forever, but I was just like, mm, I don't know. Why cat litter? Because it soaks up, uh, that's, I mean, that's what the cat litter's for. It just soaks up liquid. It's one of the most stories I've ever heard. <laughs> tell the girl squad all your embarrassing stories. Oh, I think I have. I actually, I don't get embarrassed super easily. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I could, I don't know. So you see one of the other two P girls unexpectedly at the grocery store. Can you make eye contact? Yeah, maybe. Next year we packed a newspaper in Sam's bag. Potty, uh, what do you, pee pads? What do you go those dogs? Like you give dogs like the pee pads? I know, I just simply didn't go back to the camp. Mm -mm. I was pissed though because... My friends had gone to that camp every single year and every year they were like, oh my God, there's this one guy, his name is whatever the fuck his name was. He's so hot and he's always at camp and like, like he's just the hottest guy ever. And so they gassed up this summer camp saying that fucking whatever his name was, was like the hottest guy at church camp. And then we rolled up and apparently, 
uh he had graduated into the next age bracket so he was not going to the church camp with us anymore he was the next age bracket up and i was like god damn it I was too embarrassed to admit it and said I spilled my water on the ground because it was pitch black in the room and somebody felt the wet ground. I didn't have a water bottle. Oopsies. Uh-oh. Anyways, that's my piss story. Good stuff. And he probably was just kind of tall. I don't know because I never met him. And, and back then there wasn't like social media. So it wasn't like, oh, here's a picture of him. It was just like you had to take people on honor system. But I don't know. I Apparently he was just the bee's knees. They did this thing, which this is so funny as like a church camp. But it was also like one of the most fun things ever. Um, They would do this thing where on the church grounds, it was like a big property where this church camp was. Um, They did this game where you would start at this location and then you had to go from this location to this next location and then grab something. And then you had to go from that location to this next location. And then you had to grab something. And so you had to make like five or six stops the, um, along the way and grab an item from each stop. And we would do it at night. And all of the camp counselors, there was like probably like a couple dozen of them, um, would get in cars with like masks on or they would put masks on and you had to sneak and like if they tagged you they got to take all of your items and then you went back to the first stop and it was really really fun like don't get me wrong it was awesome the only thing is like for a church camp having like it, it felt like the purge but like it was a church camp but they would wear like halloween masks and stuff so it was awesome like it was so fun but like it just did not seem like a church camp thing <laughs> I had explosive diarrhea in fifth grade in math class and my teacher was like, what's the answer? I raised my hand, I diarrhea myself. Oh. Is tagging you, them hitting you with the car? Yeah. <laughs> they run you over with the car and um, and then you have to go back to the start. So, sounds culty. Yeah, it was culty. It was one of those typical, like, all of the camp counselors are, like, super cool, you know, like, youth group type energy, like, lots of flannels and know i don't know finally finally rounding it out with a poop story yeah we gotta would you take your kids to church no i didn't grow up religious like my parents i don't think my parents ever took me to church i went to church a couple times with friends but they were like if you want to do that okay great like we'll take you to church if you want to go to church but we didn't go to church so i just didn't really yeah i grew up I think I grew up in like a very, very medium, like if I wanted to be religious, my parents would have been like, okay, yeah, we'll do that. Or if I didn't want to be, which I ended up not being religious, they were like, okay, whatever. Yeah. I had a friend though, one of my best friends in high school, her mom, her parents were really religious. Sorry, just foot. Um, her parents were really religious. And if I wanted to go stay the night at her house on the weekends, or if she wanted to stay the night at my house on the weekends, I had to go to church with her. Um, so her parents would be like, okay, you can have a sleepover on Saturday night, but then Sam has to go to church with us. So I either had to decide that I was going to go to church with them or not have a sleepover. Yeah. I got my communion. My parents never signed me back up for CCD and none of us have been back to church since. What's CCD? So controlling. It was, it was weird. She like, she was my best friend in high school and she, she was one of those kids where like her parents were super strict and super judgmental. And she was, because of that, she lied to them all the time because she basically wasn't allowed to do anything. And because of that, her parents never would know where she was, which is like so dangerous. Um, like she would call me and she'd be like, hey, I'm staying the night at your house. And I'd be like, cool. And she'd be like, no, like I'm staying the night at your house. And I would be like, OK. Um, but yeah, she would like 
she was all over the place and her parents never knew where she was or if they knew where she was they didn't know who was there with her um i remember them tricking me into her uh hunting something called a snipe for like five hours <laughs> wait that's like the thing from up The church after hanging with a friend because of their parents was always rough like damn i gotta go yeah i did it once and i was like i did it once and i cannot remember what the pastor was talking about but it was so political i remember it being so political like i walked in and even as like a high schooler i was like oh my god this guy is totally using the church to like perpetuate his political beliefs um that's a way to raise a liar give your child zero freedom yeah i um i mean i had my fair share of like twisting the truth you know where it's like i would be like hey i'm going to this person's house but we were going to that person's house and then we were going to this person's house um but i i think i always was pretty truthful with my parents for the most part and so because of that when i was like a junior senior they kind of were just like, just tell us where you're going and be home at a time that makes sense. And then we'll just keep it there. Look at my previous message. Okay, let me scroll up. I went to a Mormon Boy Scout camp, not Mormon, in the Sierra Nevada, 17 years old for two weeks. And my troop smoked weed the whole time and did nothing but fun outings. Won the physical challenges at the end. Pissed off the whole leadership. That's fun. She used to come to our house and get high. Yeah, she did, and she did it by herself, and I didn't do that. I didn't make bongs out of Gatorade bottles and smoke shitty weed. <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> the worst funerals at those church ones that the priest uh, talks about hell and stuff. She's saying stop as if she didn't find paraphernalia under my mattress once and take it. She found, I remember one time I was, uh, my mom, bless her heart, best mom ever, would clean my room sometimes. I was, I will say it right now, as a kid, I think I was not sheltered, but I was definitely like taken care of a, a good amount. My mom would clean my room every once in a while. Our condom wrappers under the bed. Yes, that did happen once. Um, so I, uh, most true sandwich title right now. Exactly. Um, I, uh, she cleaned my room once and she must've been changing my sheets. I guess that would be the only thing that made sense. And I had some, I had my pipes in like a box in between my mattress and my bed frame. And I don't know when it happened because just whenever I went to grab that box next, I looked and there was a piece of paper that said, um, found your something, uh, ask me for it back, basically. And I was like, oh, fuck. And I never did. Mm hmm. Yeah, I just found out about the condom wrapper. Dad, it wasn't, it was not mine. It was, uh, balloons balloons for a party and i just didn't quite understand somebody else's yeah yep <laughs> my mom once found a drawing i did at school of the pokemon beedrill with giant boobs she said it was a good drawing do you still have it can i have it um that's the worst excuse i've ever heard what am i supposed to say <laughs> Mm -hmm. that's yours that's maybe even worse yeah i don't know that doesn't help anything at all no i don't when i was a kid i used to like when you're a kid you kind of like explore the concept of like nudity and sexuality in like weird ways you know when you're at those like awkward phases and mine was just drawing naked people and this is how i would draw naked people I would give them like a head and then I would do this and then I would do this and then people's hair always looked like this and then I would draw boobs like this and then I would draw a penis like this 
and it also had a dot. And um, everybody had boobs and everybody had penises. So it didn't matter anything at all. Everybody would have boobs and penises. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you still have the tooth fairy with boobs drawing? Um, yes, it's on my phone, but I don't know where. Progressive Sam, so inclusive. I just, I think I just like, I just really wanted to draw more of them. Like I didn't really care who had what. So I just wanted to like draw more of them. So I would just be like, fucking everybody gets boobs and a penis because that means I get to draw more boobs and more penises. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I love liberal Sam. <laughs> Listen, I figured it out. I was like, I don't care what's going on. You just got to have more of everything. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just get them all in there. All of the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so bi-coded. We can see the shitter. Does it look good? You can kind of see it. The por the glow off the porcelain. Um, You know what I got the other day? I would go close the door, but I am lazy. Um, I got um, um, like little storage bins to put underneath the sink because there's like no storage space in the bathroom. It sucks. And I'm trying to figure out a way to like tastefully if anybody is like a makeup person in a bathroom that doesn't have a whole lot of storage and you have a way to have your makeup out but look good please share it because i have two shelves in the bathroom but right now i just have all of my makeup on the shelves and the shelves are not big enough for me to put like a any kind of box or anything so i think what i'm gonna do is get like a bunch of like cute cups to put the makeup in but like i don't really know how to like have makeup out and have it look nice because at my other house i just had a bunch of drawers so i would put stuff in drawers but i just don't know how to yeah casting couch looking nice it's a little bit different because i have the warm light on it now but bathroom caddy or basket um yeah bathroom like a rolling bathroom caddy thing is, is i don't have anywhere to put anything there's no spare room the the shower is fucking gigantic and if they took like the shower and halved it and gave me more space that'd be great drill a new shelf into the wall i did buy a new shelf i'll show you guys what i bought today um it was it's like a medicine cabinet basically i also need to figure out the light there's no light over the top of the mirror and when I do my makeup, the lighting is just like not that great. Um, I bought three things today. I'll show you guys all of the things that I bought today. I bought, I went on the, uh, a bit of a, a bit of a shopping spree, which I need, I don't need to show you one of these cause it's so boring, but, um, so I bought two things today. The first thing is I bought this. That I'm gonna hang um like on one of the walls so that it has like a cabinet and then it has this for a hand towel and this so that'll be great um that'll that'll solve like a lot of issues and then I also bought this for my front door because I was sitting there and I was letting Oki go outside but uh there's a ton of mosquitoes outside and they were coming in and I was like killing them and just it was like you know when you kill a mosquito and there's like blood so I had a bunch of random people's blood like I squished one against a wall and I had to go scrub blood off the wall. Um, and so I bought one of these that's going to hang on the front door. And I'm hoping that it doesn't look tacky. Because I feel like this could look really tacky. But I guess it doesn't really matter. But it could be deer blood. In LA though, you think? The photo looks good. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Um sliding spice rack oh interesting i probably could actually put like two of those underneath the sink because there's like enough room in between those shelves i got hmm. i'm having to min max this house so much but it's actually been kind of fun i feel like i'm uh it's like a puzzle like i'm playing tetris It'll be fine. I use one. Well, that's what I was thinking is the one on your back door doesn't look tacky, but also that's a back door, you know, so Sims it. Yeah, I should doing uh decorating in the Sims is cool, but also at the same time, uh, the proportions are always wrong. I've tried. 
Um, but you know what comes out in like two, three, almost four weeks? Soup? Soup knows. I don't know if Soup's here, but she knows. House Flipper 2, baby. Let's go. Yep. The 15th. Um, Soup is here. I thought... I said, you know what's coming out in four weeks? And then you said Soup. And I was like, oh, what? <laughs> I was like, okay. This is a development that I am unaware of. Um... I love having a small apartment. I had to be so intentional. And I wish I was. I was like, wow, okay. Thank you for warning us. Um, I'm so excited for House Flipper 2. I'm so excited because I played the demo. I don't know if the demo is still available, but the demo looks like it fixes like everything that was annoying about House Flipper 1 and just generally looks nice. Like I'm going to degen House Flipper 2. Like you probably actually will not see me for like two weeks. <laughs> That's not true. I might stream it, but I just don't know if it's like interesting, but I love it. Did they announce a free build mode? No. I'm trying to remember how much wall you can demolish. It would be really cool. Like... I don't know why it doesn't exist. These are kind of uh, like what I have and they work great for me. Oh, how do you plug them in? Is it just like a wall plug? The problem that is, oh, that wall plug looks nice though. The thing that is annoying is that the plug is like not directly by the mirror. My mirror is round. That actually might look really cute on the round mirror. I also could just get a new mirror. Um, yeah, I could just get a makeup box. The problem is I just don't know where to put it. Uh, does your bathroom have a theme or color theme for your bathroom? Just black and white. The whole house is just kind of like, I think my, my only complaint about the house as far as like aesthetics is it's really cool toned. Like, it's kind of got that, like, millennium gray floor, and the walls are, like, white. Like, not even off-white, like, white. And um, so I'm having to really creatively add warm colors to the house. But the hard thing about that is if your house has a cool tone to it, you can't just throw warm tones willy-nilly in. Because if you have, like, gray floors and white walls and like white appliances and everything's white and black and then you throw like an orange in there it can look really tacky because you have an immediate hot or warm and cold cla clashing so what you have to do which this is like so technical is you have to add warm cool tones because then they don't clash but they warm the room up um and I'm going to educate you guys if you don't know anything about warm and cool tones, um, because it's it's an important thing to know it, for any interior design. Uh, so cool tones are like blues, grays, um, like these are these are cool tones. These are warm tones. So like, you know, I, it's pretty self-explanatory when you think about it. Right. So like cool tones, warm tones have orange and yellow and red and brown and then cool tones are like grays and blues and stuff so that makes sense right so then there's such thing as like warm cool tones warm cool tones examples it's also really good to know warm and cool tones because of um makeup yeah Couple minutes, I imagine you won't make it though. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it. Um, um mm, 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 mm. okay, what's an example of a warm cool tone? A warm cool tone, I think, would be like a how do I I'm trying to look for an example. Um, this is kind of an example, but not really. So these are two different reds. This is magenta and this is red. I guess magenta is like a pink. This is a uh, warm red and this is a cool red. 
You see what I mean? Like one of these looks, it feels warmer and one of them feels like it's cooled off a little bit. You know? Um, I took interior design in high school. Perfect. The Cool Tones are my favorite 50s acapella group. Um, so it's really important to know this if you're a makeup person or if you're somebody that dyes your hair because um, there's warm and cool skin tones. And if you use like the wrong makeup, it will just look terrible. So like both of these people look really sad for some reason. But like this person has like a warmer skin tone, even though they're like the same tone, you know, um, or the same like level, the same tan level, I guess. Like she has a lot warmer skin tones and she has a lot cooler skin tones. So you would say, you know what I mean? Like she's, she's, uh, yeah. That makes sense. This isn't making any sense at all. So if you use like foundation for this person on this person, it would just not look good. It would not match. Or if you put this foundation on this found this person's face, it would probably look really powdery and like not good. So it's good to figure out what your skin tone is before you might buy makeup. Yeah, I mean when we I makeup when we were younger was just not um very good. And so pretty much everybody just looked orange because everybody would buy warm tone makeup and and then it would just be shit. It would not be good. Usually black, white, and gray are neutral. They are not cool or warm, but there are things called chromatic grays, which are grays that can be cool or warm if they have a hint of color. Yeah, grays, um, cool and warm grays, are fun. Um, so, like, the cool grays are almost, like, kind of looking, like, bluish, and then the warm grays are almost starting to inch towards, like, brownish. But these are all technically, like, gray. And if you looked at them all individually, like, this one looks like brown when you compare it to these ones. But if you looked at this one by itself, like, um, like, if I do this and I, like, cover up all these other ones, like, you would see that and you would be like, oh, that's gray. But then when you compare it to this one, all of a sudden it looks really brown. No. It was silent but deadly. Yeah, the the trigger fire is fucky and I keep forgetting to check and see what's going on with it. Did you guys end up watching John Carpenter's The Thing a while back? Um, is that the older one? We watched the older one. Whichever one that is. Yeah, I get I actually do get super nerdy about color theory because I was like an art kid, and I think that it's color theory is almost kind of like psychology. Cause you can, uh, you can, you can like, especially when it comes to like color theory in a room, like you can make people feel a certain way when you paint a room a certain way, or when you decorate it a certain way, or like when it comes to like dyeing people's hair or doing people's skincare, like you can make somebody look so much hotter by just teaching them how to color match. Can I derail real quick? Log in for full experience. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Hold on, let me open up it on Chrome. I need to sign into shit on Firefox. They even catch you. It's dangerous. <laughs> this is live. Zogs, this is live. Thanks for the roses. Oh yeah. I I understand why you got no linked. I think you deserve that all of a sudden. <laughs> Calling the cops. I th I will say though, I think that the cat in the hat live action, the humor was way before its time. I think that it's a hysterical movie and the time that it came out was just like not it was not ready for that quirky of humor. It's really funny. It's a super funny movie movie is so unhinged it is weird and there's so many jokes in it the game went crazy i was talking about this the other day with somebody how 
Do you guys remember when a movie would come out and like three months later a game would come out? Like there was always the game version of like every movie and they weren't always good, but like they they were always there. I was like eight, so maybe it was shit, yeah. They were always bad and they were for like, you know, like Game Boy Advance or something like always. There was always a movie and then a game immediately. One of my favorite games based on movies um, is this one. Um, I think it was. I think it was this one. Hundred and two Dalmatians, puppies to the rescue. I'm pretty sure. Hundred and two Dalmatians game trailer. Um, let's do gameplay. Oh, that music. This game was fucking awesome. And there was like so many cool levels going to the museum. This one was like a toy factory, I think. Watermelon level. The portals. Oh, going through like the, uh, going through the castle. Awesome game. Yeah, it was a little bit scary. There was one where you would go to, like, Big Ben. I'm trying to remember where that level was. You would go to, like, London. And that was such a cool level because you were just, like, running around the city and it kind of felt like open world. I do not know where that level is, though. Maybe this is it? No. Yeah, I don't know. Fucking awesome game, though. Loved it. Highly recommend. The Monsters, Inc. game was so good. If I was more ambitious, I would do a stream like the Spirothon where I play all of the Sly Cooper games and 100% them, but I'm not going to do that because I think that would take me like... I, it would probably take me like two weeks because those games have so much stuff. The Monsters, Inc. game was good. I don't... Yeah, I don't remember. Bye, Mom. There was also a 2D uh, 101 Dalmatians game that was shit. Sly Cooper and Tack and the Power of Juju were my jam. I played Tack... Um, I used to rent it from Blockbuster. But I never finished it. Finding Nemo is good. Oh, the Finding Nemo game. I think I played that. Finding Nemo game. Yeah, I think I played that. PS2? I feel like I played this. It was kind of hard. Yeah, I definitely did. It was hard, kind of. Not a super easy game. Crash Bandicoot? Mm-hmm. Crash Bandicoot was good. Anyone played the Monsters vs. Aliens game? No! The Will Smith, Will Smith fish movie game. Uh... Um... Why did I want to say Undertale? What? Shark Tale. Played this piece of shit too much. Terminator 3. Never played it. I've actually never seen a Terminator movie except one, and I fell asleep during it. I want to do a stream um, where I play this on stream. This is one of my favorite games. It was called Breakout. So you were playing Breakout, but it was like a 3D version with a plot. So you, there's all these little blocks like there are in Breakout 
and they were like hanging on an island and like jamming out so this is you the main character and that's your girlfriend and you're laying on a beach chilling um and then basically the bad guy these are all the different block options there's the america block they're basically the avengers there was the america block the uh the camo block the cheese block i don't know what this was bouncer they all had different names and they all had different powers so anyways you go get the ball and you bring it back to your girlfriend and then the super villain that looks like the villain from toy story comes and steals your girlfriend and takes her away and so you have to go through these different levels and play breakout but as you beat the different levels and you get your friends back you can um you can get different powers they all do different things and you can like switch and play yeah and so you go through all these different levels to try to get your girlfriend back and it's an awesome game it is an awesome game. Love it. Highly recommend. Croc was a good one. I went back to play Echo the Dolphin on Sega Genesis because um and on and I still don't know what's going on. <clears throat> one game that I always really wanted to play, but um I could never really get super far into it was um legend of dragoon i think it was a playstation one game and it had like four discs and i couldn't figure out how to do the like final fantasy style gameplay so i never got past the first level it was let me see if i can find um thanks ike was it Legend of Dragoon? Yeah, this one. This. This shit. Wanted to play it so bad. Couldn't figure out how to beat it. Couldn't even figure out how to get past the first level. Test for Cheetah 7 up cool spot games? No. No potion. I've never even heard of it. Hey, Pidge. The Mario Party vid. Oh my god. I haven't seen that in a long time. Yep, classic. Yo, Poop V, what's up? So many good old games. So little time. We're at a place now that's nice because we uh, have emulators where we didn't ever used to have emulators. So if you didn't have the console, you were fucked. These are games I have no idea how I preserved with as a kid. I'm persevered with. Like, why did I play this game? Hudson's Adventure Island. This is just Mario, dude. You just played Mario. There was a game that was on a demo disc. One of those PlayStation 1 demo discs. And I used to play the demo. And I loved it. And I never was able to get the actual game. And like, maybe like six months ago, I was trying to remember it. And you guys helped me figure out what it is. And it was this. I've played the demo for this probably 30 times. And I've never played the actual game. And I feel sad because I think it probably would have been one of my favorite games. Like, it looks awesome. I would get to, like... Like, you know, I don't know. Here. And it was, like, right as it was warming up, you would get to, like, a little city. It would say, like, oh, this is just the demo. Fortunately, the demo ends here. And I'd be, like... And I always thought there was, like, a little area. And I always thought, like, if I can just figure out how to jump over this fence, I can play the actual game. Because I thought that the the whole game was there, but there was just, like, one fence stopping me from getting to it. I was like, I bet I can figure out how to get to it. I just put shit out of Bust a Move on PS1. 
aren't abandoned where because Disney owns it. Classic kid logic. I know. Truly. And they need 5k more points for the Minecraft server. All right. Well, grind them out. Bugdom. Never heard of it. The PS1 demo discs might be, uh, they might be a rare commodity. I would hold on to those. Guys, what movie are we watching? We're two hours in. We're supposed to start a movie in about 15 minutes. What movie are we watching tonight? We have to figure this out. We don't even, I don't even have like, we don't even have a movie. Usually we have like one movie that we've been talking about that we're like, oh, we should watch that for a movie night. I don't even, we don't even have anything like that. Got a genre? I don't know. X, God, good movie. Do we have a theme? No, not really. Christmas movie? No. Not till December. Her? Is that the one with um, Scarlett Johansson? No, that's Lucy. Oh, wait, no. Scarlett Johansson does have her in it. Or, you know what I mean. That's the one with uh, Joaquin Phoenix, where he falls in love with the Siri, basically. We didn't watch Velocipaster. And we've, I've always wanted, um, also, <laughs> I don't know how this movie is, but there is a movie called Thanks Killing about a turkey that tries to kill people. I don't know how this trailer is, and I want to click on it, but I'm scared. This could be anything. Thanks killing is awful. Like, awful as in really bad, or awful as in good, or awful as in... This movie sucks. <laughs> like, it's <laughs> like, in what way? Chicken Run and prep for Chicken Run 2. Are they coming out with another Chicken Run? Hold on, I want to watch, uh... Velocipaster trailer. Uh, okay, yeah, here's Velocipaster trailer. They followed me home. The Velocipasta. A troubled priest. How long has it been since your last confession? Oh, it's been about two years. I do drugs, sell drugs, uh, murder people. The Velocipasta. My beautiful girl with a dark past. <laughs> Last night was amazing. What are you talking about? The time you turned into a dinosaur and ate some. The what? captions are so what? wrong. You guys talk all the time about helping people. This might actually be the first time in your life you can. By what? Killing people? Yes! No, I think killing is worse. Does, God does not want people dead. Oh, I think God wants a lot of people dead. <gasps> I will stay awake for it. Every time movie like Movie Monday comes around, we joke about Velocipaster and then we just don't watch it. And every time I'm like, oh, we should watch it this time. Labyrinth is such a good movie. You know what's one of my favorite movies? Um, this. I really want to watch this sometime. It's a, uh, it is a, um, Del Toro. Love this movie. Love this movie. This is Pan's Labyrinth. This is not Labyrinth. This is Pan's Labyrinth. 
in a dark time when hope was bleak. There lived a young girl whose only escape Has anybody was not seen this? That wanted her back. Yeah, the narrator is kind of weird for this. Mitch McConnell's the in this The speaks of the lost soul of a princess from another world who will one I've day never seen be Labyrinth. reborn. There will be signs that mark her return. There will be secrets. It's a cool movie because there's not a whole lot of like CGI. It's all like there will be a practical effects. One of the coolest monsters in any any movie ever is this guy. God, it's such a good movie. It's in Spanish, so there are subtitles. And the imagination of Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, so it's me too. In darkness, there can be light. In misery, there can be beauty. In death, there can be life. There he is, the hand guy. Pan's Labyrinth. So good. Um, I wonder if there's, is there a dubbed Pan's Labyrinth? I've never seen a dubbed Pan's Labyrinth. I would think at this point, dubbed Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth. I feel like there's not. Yeah, it would make it. Bad, probably. I don't want to show you this video because it's a spoiler, but it was funny. Um, better to watch an OG. Do you guys want to watch it? Like that would I would love to. I'll be putting my like the thing about Pan Pan's Labyrinth too. This is kind of funny, but like if you know any Spanish at all, like even the most like like lowest level of spanish you actually can kind of tell what's happening a bit which is kind of i don't really know how to describe it but like i don't know spanish very well at all but i took it in high school and um it's uh you can I, you can kind of keep up a bit and like pan's labyrinth is a very visual movie so even if you can't hear what's happening, you can um, you can watch it and still I think if there was no captions and you couldn't understand the language, you could probably still kind of understand what's going on. Yeah. Spanish is a very straightforward language, and if you know Latin basis, yeah. Subtitles enough, you start to learn the language. Yeah, no, true. We used to do that when I was in Spanish class, as we would just watch movies with subtitles. And it helped more than anything. I never think of it being a foreign language film. Yeah, that's what it is, is I always forget that it's not in English. The first couple times I watched it, I don't think I really paid attention to the subtitles a whole lot, because I didn't know the plot. But I still loved watching it. Um, Do you guys want to try that one? Do you want to do Pan's Labyrinth? Um, just to like s change it up. Lost pastor stands right up, rise up. 
Um, we can also watch Velocipaster. Either one. Does anybody have any other ideas? I know that I have a, uh, I have a folder called movie suggestions. Um, but I can't remember what they, where it was. I like where po Poppy's head is at and I don't know them. What did they say? Kung Fury. We watched Kung Fury on stream once. Especially if you haven't seen it. Uh, you Everybody should watch it. It's a beautiful movie. Um, What did the poll say? Pan's Labyrinth? Um, God, my monitor. My monitor did this a while ago and it's doing it again where it just turns off and then turns back on. And I think it has to do with the, like, the, f the, it not being synced with the other monitors as far as like frame rate. The new Kung Fury movie is out. Is it? Is that another one that got kind of like slipped by because of the strikes? Kung Fury 2? Is it out? Or is it? Oh my god, my monitor is turning off and on so bad that I can't even do anything. It's doing, happening every couple seconds. Kung Fury 2 trailer. I'm gonna have to watch it with you guys because my monitor is turning on and off. Watching it on OBS. Action enthusiasts, buckle up as we no, take a No, I wanted the trailer. The wild and action-packed world of Kung Fury 2. My In monitor is off. From the Kung Fury it's turning 2, on and off and on and off and on and off. What's going on here? Stop doing that. Okay, we're watching Pan's Labyrinth because my monitor's fucking up so bad that I'm not going to be able to do anything. I've never seen the first movie. We watched it on stream once. It's ridiculous, but it's awesome. It's got, like, everything. Like, everything that a movie never needs. Um, okay, we're going to go do Movie Monday. If you've never done Movie Monday... We just jump in the Discord in the movie channel and I stream a movie for everybody and it's very fun. So if you want to do that, then that's what we're going to do. We're going to go raid somebody. Um, short stream as per always with Mondays, but that's fun anyways. Um, tomorrow is Tuesday and I'm going to do like a regular Tuesday stream. I don't know what we're going to do yet. I didn't jump on the Minecraft server tonight because I forgot, but maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Um, don't forget to do your sponsor. Thank you, Mason. Thank you. Um, oh, so, hmm. Actually, no, it's fine. I can do it at the same time. Yeah, I can do it because I'm going to play the movie on my laptop. So no worries. Um, yeah, I have to take pictures for, I have to do like facial expressions for thumbnails. And then also I have to like record some stuff for a sponsor, which will be cool. But anyways, doesn't matter. We're going to go raid Bobby. He's playing uh, Tunic, which is a game that Barry really loves. So we're going to go do that. Go hang out with Bobby um, and then jump in the movie night chat. It is 930 right now and I'll start the movie at 945. So you have like a little over 15 minutes, probably 15 minutes by the time the raid goes out. Um, thank you guys for hanging out for short little stream. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're, I'm going to try to do like a longer stream tomorrow because I haven't, I haven't done a long stream for a while. I've just been so tired, but hopefully tomorrow I don't have too much going on. I can stream a long time and then, um, uh, no stream or, and then eggs Benny on Wednesday. So see I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next day. Yeah. See you guys soon. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it.